The first day of pre-season at Newcastle United's training ground means running, more running, some stretching and ball work, and more running. But after nearly two years out of action through injury, Ryan Taylor wasn't complaining as he joined in with the rest of the squad. Ryan, that looked absolutely awful, but after everything you've been through over the last couple of years, I imagine you're just delighted to be taking part. Yeah, I mean, I've been looking forward to this day for some time, believe me. Um, but just to be a part of it, to warm up again with the boys, just to be out there having a little bit of banter, but, you know, it, it's all serious as soon as training starts. But, you know, for me, just to get my boots back on was such a relief. And, you know, I'd done, done everything they asked of me. So, you know, to get through it was a little bit of a relief as well. But... I, I sort of knew that wouldn't have been a problem with what I've been doing all summer. So, really happy and you know looking forward to the next day now. Yeah, as you say, it looked very hard work, and a lot of the lads were blowing towards the end. But it looked like you were kind of ready for it with everything you have been doing over the summer. Yeah, I mean, I, I had a week's break uh, during the summer, just a, a little getaway, a little week. Um, but the rest of the summer we were in, we were working tirelessly, you know, we were from eight eight in the morning doing three sessions a day, um, you know, have the weekend off. So we, we were working tirelessly um, and, you know, it, it, it does pay off because, you know, when you do running like that, it's easier to recover. I mean, although the running is tough, it's, you know, it is easier to, to get your legs back, whereas some of the boys have had six, seven weeks off and, and you know, the, the difference in our, our what I can hear, you know, a few shouts, I'm going to be sick. Um, but yeah, I, was, I wasn't anywhere near feeling the same way. The players first started to report back last Friday for a series of tests, with Iose Perez meeting his new teammates for the first time. And we caught up with teenage forward Adam Armstrong. This time last year I was with the academy doing pre-season with them. So hopefully this year I can do it with the first team and it just will bring me on as a player. So hopefully yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. It was a great season last season that I had. In this season, I hope to do much more and obviously keep working with England and keep working with Newcastle and, like I said again, hopefully keep pushing on and come as best I can. Does it boost your confidence to have won that tournament with England? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, winning a big tournament like that, European Championships, it's obviously going to be... I'm buzzing inside and all the lads are buzzing at the time, but now it's back to your clubs, ready to stick at it and get at it again and hopefully come back next year with England, yeah. Another player hoping for a big season is Gail Bigger-Romana. You know, whatever happened last season, it was happened for a, a reason, and that reason is put me in a position where I had to think for myself and, you know, clear my mind and think what I need to do to get in the team. And um, I'm ready for that, and I can't wait for that. I can't wait to start. I just uh, can't wait to roll the ball. Do you think that every player kind of comes back with a clean slate for pre season? Yeah, absolutely. You know, you, if you had the best season, if you had the no, as good season, you come back with a new goal. And uh, that goal for most players, I think, is to get into the first team. And it's not easy. It's, the, it's a task. It's a hard task for young players to get in the first team, such as Newcastle. But nothing is impossible. I trust God that I can do a thing. More players were at the club's Benton base on Saturday, and sports scientist Jamie Harley was pleased with their condition. We've the last few years we've given them off-season programs. Obviously, some of them, um, you know, there might be one or two that um, go away and just have the whole holiday. The ones that have played have had a real, you know, uh, playing week in, week out. They're, they're quite tight at the end of the year, so there's no problem with them having, you know, a few weeks of rest and then they start doing a few sessions to get themselves into it. In general, the lads have been very good. They've all weighed in today. They were all given targets to come back for, for pre-season in terms of the body weight, and uh, all the players have been very, very good. So no complaints on our side of things. And after spending part of his summer at Glastonbury, Mike Williamson was ready to face the music. Everyone uh, seems to come back in shape and ready ready for the pre-season. Um, but yeah, it's important to get a good positive start and make sure everyone feels good. And then, uh, yeah, as of Monday, we start properly and uh, yeah, be uh, look forward to it. We've seen all the sports science aspect of what you've been doing today. Is that a bit of a far cry from what you were doing when you were at Torquay and stuff like that in the lower leagues? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, you know, Newcastle is a fantastic setup, and uh, the uh, you know the staff, the department, the sports science side, you know, it's brilliant and it, it gets better every year. Um, but yeah, I think it's for me, it's, it has its place, and it certainly has uh, brings a lot of benefits. And um, yeah, for me, I enjoy I enjoy looking into the data and, and finding out new things. For exclusive coverage of Newcastle United this pre-season, subscribe to NUFC TV now for only £3.99 a month.